The Trevon Martin story in Florida certainly has raised a number of questions. One might be that why would a neighborhood watch captain carry a sidearm? But you have to remember, there was another city that made national news when neighborhood block volunteers use sidearms. It was New Haven, right here in the Edgewood Park area. Before America learned Sanford, Florida neighborhood watch captain George Zimmerman carried a gun, let's go back five years to the Elm City. It's certainly not the substitute that one would want, but when you're missing what you're supposed to have, and things are slipping out of hand. It was 2007 when the Edgewood Park Defense Patrol was created after a series of crimes, including an assault of a rabbi. There are probably not so many um, neighborhood watch groups that publicly announce that they are carrying uh, sidearms. So I think that's a little bit more of a unique situation. Years later, Ellie Greer has no regrets of exercising his Second Amendment rights and will continue to do so, especially since he says the streets are safer. Really set the tone that there is no nonsense and a certain amount of seriousness and respect. The show of force, Greer believes, has worked, but he says there's a big difference to how his group works and how Zimmerman stood guard. Zimmerman's story aside, Greer says when carrying a gun, there's no room for cowboys. George Zimmerman was alone that evening about a month ago, the night of the incident. Um, whenever our patrols go out and have gone out, they're always in pairs, always. And that avoids a lot of concerns. Greer stresses again that with their neighborhood watch program, two people are always together. And there is no requirement that someone must carry a gun. We're on the scene in New Haven, Jamie Muro. News 8.